Here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Thanksgiving. Today, I'm going to be addressing the comments on my last video that I posted yesterday about the Steam Awards Nomination Committee 2017 badge. A couple of people were just complaining about the resolution, which is a result of me recording all three screens instead of one or two. I'm still going to record two, so I can have my webcam over here. I hope it looks better for you guys. Uh, someone asked, it, how do I level up the badge? I did some research on it, and it doesn't look like it's possible. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But uh, the only suggestion I found in a forum was um, to just redo all the assignments that they give you to get the badge. And it's going to, uh, you know, level up the badge, which, uh, you know, I, I gave it a try. I went and redid everything, and it didn't level it up. So I, I'm thinking that that it's uh, that it's not a thing. Okay, so the main question is uh, nominating a game in each category. What should I do? Got a couple questions on that. Um, I've also seen other YouTube videos on the same question. People are asking, asking the question in forums. So it's it's a, it's a big question. People want to know. And I feel like I have a pretty good answer for you guys, so let's get into it. Let me jump over to my Steam. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I nominated and kind of tell you why. Um, well, uh, while we're looking at this, let me jump into the store page so I can pull it up. Uh, good place to start is what is the criteria that they're doing for... Uh, choosing these categories and uh, the game that they actually give the the awards to and I uh, did some research and it looks like it's just popularity contest so uh, you know it, what what games are going to get the most votes it's going to be the most popular ones so let's look at the most popular games 2017 uh, this quick google search is going to have a pretty good answer uh, there's going to be some variation in here uh, you know it's open to a lot of opinion of course but uh, I think we can all agree that Player Unknown is pretty popular. Call of, du Call of Duty is popular. Resident Evil is popular. Prey is popular. On and on. So most of these are going to be right. Um, so let's jump back to Steam. And I'm going to show you what I did for these awards and why. Uh, we'll start with Player Unknown Battlegrounds. I did Cry Havoc and Let's Slip the Dogs War. Um, it's just, uh, it's a wild game. You got, you know, 100 players all jumping in and blowing each other to pieces. It's total war. Um, that one fits pretty good. Better than I expected. I threw that to Mad Max because, uh, it was, uh, it was a cheap game. I didn't have a whole lot of expectations for it. I got it on sale for, uh, 10, 12 dollars, something like that on, on Steam. And, uh, I got into it and it was amazing. It was a phenomenal game. I had so much fun with it. Uh, definitely better than I expected. Whoa, dude, 2.0. <laughs> That's going to go to Wolfenstein. Uh, it's a very visually dynamic game. Uh, Labor of Love, it's, uh, we got a couple working together in there, so that's gonna go to, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, but you guys can look it up, it actually looks like a pretty awesome game, um, uh, probably gonna buy it once it goes down a little bit, it's 35 bucks right now on Steam. Uh, we got a couple other ones, this, this defies description, I don't know, I guess just something really, it's mind-blowing, uh, that one's, uh, open to suggestion. By the way, any of these you got suggestion on, throw them in the comments and uh, help me out in case I need to change something. Help other people out there viewing this video. They got some other ideas besides just what I put down. Um, the soul of, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he was a uh, ancient uh, Roman architect. Very, uh, you know, well known in historical values. I don't know why I did Assassin's Creed, I guess because it's historical, but I feel like if it's an architect, it should be over a, uh, a kind of building game. Um, I'm going to change that to Civilization, probably. Yeah, so something like that. Uh, suspension and Disbelief. Uh, I'm always in Suspension if, uh, if for honors, if I'm going to find a server. So, uh, I, I, I did that. That's humorous, probably not very accurate, so change that one. No apologies. Mm, I don't really know how to say this other than I didn't like Call of Duty, and I feel like there was an apology for not putting out a better game. Sorry if you like that game. Um, 
Mom's Spaghetti and This Haunts My Dreams. Um, these are both indicative of like suspense. So that's going to go to horror genre, which I threw in a couple of popular horror games for uh, this year. Resident Evil 7 and Dark Souls 3. Uh, Choices Matter Award. This one can honestly go to a whole bunch of different games. So this one's open for suggestions. Uh, it's just any game that has multiple paths that uh, involve choice making that determine the out outcome of the game. Um, the uh, And I gave that to uh, Divinity. Uh, don't know if that's very accurate or not. This top one, I feel, is, uh, is very well placed. It's the world is grim enough. Let's just all get along. And I gave that to Prey, which was a very popular game this year. And I greatly enjoyed playing it. Um, the reason I think that it fits that description is uh, you got humans and aliens that are in a fight for survival, and at the end you find out that they're actually trying to work together. So that one's really well placed. Okay, so that's what I chose, and uh, I'm going to do something else here. Since we've had complaints about resolution, I want to be sure that you guys uh, are able to read my list and everything. Uh, I made a Word document here with a large font that you can clearly read. Um, go ahead and just pause the video on this, and um, and you'll be able to see what I did. Copy what my ideas were, and definitely throw in your own ideas in the comments so that we can work together here and pick out what's what's going to be best. So that's that's about it, guys. Um, like I said, throw in a bunch of comments so that we can share some info and get this down. Um, please give my video a like and subscribe to me. I'm going to be trying to put out more uh, game gaming-related videos, answering popular questions, stuff like that. Um, I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everyone.